going to learn how to replace a belt in a Morphe Richards bread maker model number 48290. Now, the, how would you know when your belt is loose or torn? When your bread maker is working and heating, but the steerer doesn't rotate, although you can hear the inner wheel rotating, if I'll take it out, you'll see that this wheel doesn't rotate as well. That means your belt is loose or torn, one of the two. Okay, so now we're gonna learn how to fix the belt in the machine. Before you deal with the bread maker, you have to make sure the cable is unplugged and to take out everything that might fall while dealing with the machine, which is the pan and the drawer. And there are two ways to fix this belt. The first one, which is more complicated and I prefer not to work with, is by opening the six screws at the bottom, two of which are hard to open, they need a special screwdriver which is hard to get. After you open these six screws, you'll have to open about nine screws in the inner side of the machine. You basically open the machine into two parts and uh, then there are some screws inside which you also have to open till you can actually reach the belt and replace it. As I said, it's complicated. I also got cut in my hand from one of the sharp metal edges inside. So I have a second way to do it. Make sure the lid is closed carefully. And this is by uh, taking out this piece of plastic from the bottom. You actually don't need it. After you fix the belt which is just behind it, just leave it open on, the, on your kitchen and uh, there's no problem. So the way I opened this part of this piece of plastic was by using a utility knife, exacto knife, this kind. Now since I'm working with it, very hard uh, piece of plastic, it's a bit dangerous. I'm gonna use gloves, which I highly recommend, so you, I don't cut my fingers. I'm gonna start on this edge which is uh, farther from the cable which goes inside here so it's safer by cutting again and again over and over or through this edge takes a while, you'll have to do it for a few times until I feel I reached inside. Once I reached inside I can pull it like a knife. At least try to. Maybe this angle. And I open all the way through. Cut the plastic all the way through. Make sure you don't go too deep with the knife. So after we reach through this plastic layer we might we can use a screwdriver and push it in. We push the screwdriver as close as we can to to where we were. You can see the cable through this hole and over here just goes here.
now yeah I just break the last piece of it as I said no reason to keep it this can stay in the kitchen open as you can see here the bell just fell off now some might it might look alright and you might want to keep it there um, but it did fall down and it will fall again if it did it might be a good idea to replace anyways now when it's open it, it's much simpler if you do want to try and keep use the old one for a bit before putting a new one uh, how to put it on this is the simpler part of the deal first the small wheel all around now you start putting it on the bigger wheel and you turn it around and it's on Yay. your bread maker is ready for the next baking <laughs>